Hi, my name is Norman Meyer, and I want to tell you a little bit more about my story, how I raised $40 million in two and a half years from investors, how I created a $300 million company, and how I became a self-made millionaire in the process. It's also the story about how I made a comeback and found happiness again after I lost everything, after I felt lost and depressed, and how sales psychology and online marketing principles can help you to achieve all of your personal and business goals. Money isn't everything, but <laughs> it ranks right up there with oxygen. I have a few questions for you. What would you miss if you were never financially secure or free in your life? What kind of influence would it have on your relationships, on your health, on your stress level, your level of self-confidence, or your need for freedom? Unless you want to live in the woods, in a shed, and you want to eat berries and worms all day, you need to concern yourself with the topic of money if you live in the modern world. The question is, are you still dreaming about financial success, but you still have to worry about how to pay rent and how to pay your bills every month? Do you have some goals in your life, but you have not been able to achieve them yet? And as a result, you have given up on some of those goals? Are you unhappy with your work life or are you looking to improve it, but you don't know how exactly to do that? And are you working in a job that limits the amount that you can earn? Well, let me tell you about my own story. Let me tell you how I became a self-made millionaire in only two and a half years. You see, when I was in my 20s, I was hungry for money and success, just like young, most young men. I had a dream, and that dream was to become a self-made millionaire by the time I was 30. But by the time I was 30, I was still broke. And even though I was making good money at the time, I was still far from being a millionaire. I earned over $120,000 per year, but still I had no money saved. And then I started to ask the question, why is it that some people are more successful than others? And especially, what is it about some people that enables them to become millionaires? Because there are over 24 million millionaires in the US alone, and the number worldwide is growing rapidly, even in those difficult economic times. You see, 24 million millionaires? Wow, and the number is growing. And if that many people have achieved financial success, well, then you can do it too, so I thought. So I started to read and study absolutely everything about self-made millionaires. I listened to motivational audio programs, I read books, I wrote my ideas in a daily journal, I went to seminars and so forth, and I tried to find the answers so that one day I could hopefully be one of them as well. Well, but before that, I actually had a job offer or job interview. And one day I applied uh, for a job with UBS, which is one of the biggest banks in Switzerland, and they offered me a job for $150,000 per year, which for me at the time would have been a step up financially, and the job descri description also seemed kind of interesting. So any normal person would have accepted that job offer and would have been happy about it. But then I did the math. I thought, okay, I needed about $100,000 per year to live comfortably, and I could put away $50,000 per year. So after 10 years, I would have about $500,000 in savings. And then my initial thought was, hmm, half a million is okay, but it's still not an entire million. I considered it for a few minutes, and then I told the guy at the bank that I wasn't interested in the job. You see, I knew I had to do something different because I wanted to become a millionaire. I needed to play in a different league and think outside of the box. I wanted to achieve something great and I didn't feel that taking on a better job would help me to accomplish that dream. So I had really three options and my options were first, work harder and get, a, get better at earning commissions at my current sales job or number two, save money for the next 30 or 40 years. Or number three, take on another job that pays better. But you see, the problem was still that I didn't have all the answers that I really wanted. I wanted to become a millionaire in a short period of time, and in order to do that, I needed to have a different strategy. Well, let's talk about the meaning of life. You see, 
there was something else that happened in one week and all happened exactly in the same week that changed my life forever. Because in that one week, I was confronted with three different kind of deaths. So a person from payroll where I worked, that person died over the weekend. A friend's brother that I just met died a few days later. And one night I got home from work and there was a dead cat on the street. So I was confronted with death and the meaning of life. And logically, I wondered about the meaning of my own life. I thought, well, if I worked in a regular job, working for someone else, I would basically waste my talents and my life. And it became even more clear to me that I had to go into business for myself. And even though I wasn't sure exactly how I should be doing it and what I should be doing exactly, I knew I couldn't stay in a regular nine to five job. And then I asked myself, what should I do differently? Because if I continue to do the things the way I did them, nothing would really change. You see, I realized I needed to change something. I read a lot of books, I went to seminars, I listened to audio programs, but eventually it hit me. I realized what I needed to change. And once I made that decision, I became a self-made millionaire only two and a half years later. It was quite astonishing. It was unbelievable. And when I look back in time, I realize now how quick everything really happened. And that was 10 years ago. See, what led me there? Well, what does it take to become a millionaire in such a short period of time? And the answer is, it's a mental mindset. It's the way you think that determines how much money you make. Let me explain a little bit further. I went uh, to a seminar of a German motivational speaker by the name of Bodo Schaefer. And there was one statement that changed my life forever. And Bodo Schaefer developed a program, How to Make Your First Million in Seven Years. And he told us that once he had a conversation with his coach, and he was completely broke at the time, and depressed, and he didn't know how to pay his bill anymore, his bills anymore, then the coach told him to plan to become a person who can make $100,000 per month. And at first it seemed very unrealistic because obviously uh, you can come up with all kinds of excuses or problems or issues why this is impossible. But his coach also told him that you don't actually need $100,000 per month to enjoy a great lifestyle. No one really needs that, but it's the person that you need to become that is capable of making that kind of money each month. And I like that because it was, it was like a primary motivation for me. I want to become the person. I want to become the person who was capable of accomplishing such a high goal. You see, I asked myself, what did I need to change or improve in my life in order to become the person who can make $100,000 per month? Clearly, I needed to think outside of the box because the conventional ways of thinking they don't work if you want to attract that kind of money into your life. You can't expect to work uh, or get that kind of money in a regular job. You can't become a millionaire with a regular nine to five job. It just is the wrong kind of strategy. So what do you need to change? What is the mental attitude that you need to have? What kind of habits do you need to develop? And what did you need to get rid of? You see, that's the key factor here, change. You know, you need to change something. And I really was motivated by that because I wanted to become that person too. The money was important, but it was really secondary. More important was who I was becoming in that process. And then, you know, the next important mental shift came from Brian Tracy. Brian Tracy is one of the top motivational speakers and business trainers in the world. And I actually once got the chance to meet him in Switzerland, even though he lives about 15 minutes away from me here in California. He told us to write down our current income. So I wrote down my income and my current income at the time was 140,000. And then he asked the question, if we believed that it was possible to increase our current income by 20% in the next 12 months. And then I thought, well, 20%, that's about 160,000 per year. Well, that's possible, I thought. And then he asked another question and he said, well, do you think that you could increase it um, even more by, let's say, doubling your income in the next 12 months? And then I thought, ooh, from 140,000, doubling my income would be 280,000. And then I asked myself, what would I have to do differently in order to achieve that number? Is it possible? 
And I was thinking long and hard. And yes, of course it was possible, but I was hesitant. It was a big number. I never made this kind of money before. And this is exactly the point where most people start to block. They then start to come up with excuses and reasons why it's not possible or realistic to make that kind of money. And it might have taken you a long time, let's say, to get to the current level that you already have today, uh, and then to double that income within 12 months is obviously a big step. But of course, you know, when you believe you can't do something, then you're right. Obviously, then you, you won't be able to do it. Now, but let's think about it. If you have to change what you have to change in order to double your income in 12 months. Okay, it means that you have to think in new ways and new possibilities, and that is the big secret. You have to open up your mind. You can't have a regular nine to five job and hope to become a millionaire. It's simply not possible. It doesn't work, it's the wrong system. But then Brian went on and he said the following thing. He said, well, now imagine, what if you were to increase your current income of, in my case, it was 140,000 at the time, by 10 times, so it would be 1.4 million in the next 12 months. Wow, and then I thought, whew, that's completely unrealistic. Okay, let's stop dreaming right here. That's not possible. So it took me years to get to 140,000, but getting to 1.4 million, that seemed to be completely out of the question. You see, this calculation was actually a great example because it got me motivated. Uh, because when you think about it, uh, 1.4 million is a little bit more than $100,000 per month, similar to the example I just mentioned earlier. And then I started asking myself, how could I pull this off? What would I have to do or change in order to make that happen? You see, the quality of your questions will determine the quality of your answers. And um, one thing I realized is that there are people out there right now who make 1.4 million per year. And what is it that they know or do differently that I don't do or I don't know? What is their secret? How can I learn the same things and become one of those people? And the first thing that I did was to write myself my own personal check. Uh, for $1.4 million, and I actually still have it. And I signed it, and I looked at it, and I dreamed about it. And I put it into my journal, and I started to write down all my ideas, my insights, my strategies, or po possible strategies that could lead to my goal. So I took the number of $1.4 million and made it my goal. And guess what? After two and a half years, I actually made it happen. Well, how did I make it happen? Well, that's the million dollar question, right? <laughs> well, the answer is I needed to start my own business and live my dream. Well, let me tell you how I built several businesses and financed them with millions of dollars. You see, all successful people are big dreamers. And I knew I needed to start my own business in order to be financially successful. But at first, I didn't really know what to do. It was just a dream. And at the time, I was still living in Switzerland. And almost by chance, I heard of a company in the US who would do incorporations. So I decided to call the number and I incorporated a company in Nevada. And because I didn't exactly know what the purpose of the company was going to be, I just decided to give it my cat's nickname, Hemis. <laughs> you see, my cat's name was Hemingway, so I called him Hemis sometimes. Hey, Hemis, come here. So I thought I would change the name later when I knew what it was going to be. And there I was. So I owned a company with the name Hemis Corporation, but no business model or no product, okay? And no idea what to do. But at the time, I was helping a friend of my father's to get a company listed back on the stock market. And the company got delisted because the guy that uh, bought the company couldn't really speak English and he didn't know how to get it done. And so he had asked me to help him. And because I was a former stockbroker and had a general idea, but no specific knowledge about taking a company public, I decided to help him. And I flew to North America, talked to securities lawyers, to an accountant, to an auditor and so forth. And finally, I was able to get the company back listed in the stock market again. You see, the company had a gold project and the, the, my friend was raising millions of dollars from private investors and got the company public. And they raised about $12 million in about three months from private investors. And so I thought, well, if I did all this work for him 
and now I've figured out how to get a company listed, then why not do it myself instead of working for someone else? You see, I was able to get a gold project in Mexico from a mutual business friend, and, um, and then I decided to put a gold project into my corporation, it was called Hemis, and started to sell shares and raise money for my project and my company. And at first I only raised a few hundred thousand dollars, but eventually I won more and more people for my cause and my team grew and I was able to develop the project and we got great drilling results and so forth. And in the end, we ended up with several companies, 25 gold exploration projects, about 60 people working for me, three sales organizations, 10 geologists, 500 investors and about $40 million in raised capital. And I paid myself a salary from the five companies with bonuses and so forth. And I was making over $100,000 a month, just like I tried to do. And I was raising about $1 to $2 million each month. I took the company public in the stock market and the company was valued at over $300 million in the market. And my own personal uh, value in stocks as the main shareholder was over $123 million. You see, my stock price went from 27 cents to $3.50 and all of my investors made money. And I did it again. So I built a second company and that one was listed with about $150 million. And the share price went from 50 cents to $2 in a matter of weeks. And I did it over and over again. I built about five companies that paid me a salary of $10,000 per month and I earned about the same amount in commissions from my sales organizations and had saved about $1.3 million in cash, bought myself a house for $1.5 million. I had two Porsches, one for me and one for my wife. I was renting a luxury apartment overlooking the city for about $10,000 per month and life was great. You see, I felt on top of the world in a very short period of time, I had achieved success that was out of the ordinary. And I felt really proud of myself and I thought, that at the time, I've made it in life. I thought that I would never have to worry about money again. So, <laughs> so far so good. However, you see, everything can change in an instant. The keys to success are a single piece of information, a single idea at the right time, in the right situation, and all that can change your life. And the reason why I write these programs, why I produce these programs is to encourage you, to encourage other people. Because I know that most people read books of successful authors and many things that I write about are not new, so to speak. But what I'm hoping is that once you read or listen to my programs or watch my videos, that you will get one insight or one piece of information that will change your life, that will change your business life for the better. You see, one idea or strategy can change everything. And sometimes we're doing everything right, but we're not getting the results that we really want to. And by changing one little thing or detail, things will improve. And therefore, I urge you to get the super package, to study and read all my materials, because those are the basis for my success. Okay, Everything that I know I've put into this program, and I hope it will help to improve your life. You see, 5% of the people are financially independent and 95% of the people are not. And the question is, how can you belong to the 5%? You see, have you read all the books about success and you've attended all the seminars or you listened to the success gurus and despite all this information, you're not further in life? Well, interestingly, you're not alone in the situation. Thousands of people just like you are searching for success and they spend thousands of dollars on material, but they don't earn one more cent. So many people are living in a dream world and they have unrealistic hopes and illusions. And even though they're willing to learn and to think positively, they're not getting ahead financially. What is it that most of the success gurus are not telling you? Are you still dreaming of millions, but are you worried how to pay your bills next month? You see, I don't think that the main problem of people is lack of motivation. I believe that the main problem is that most people simply don't know how to go about it, what to do. And the world is full of opportunity and times have changed, but we have too many choices and this leads to confusion. And because there's too many choices, 
People do what they've always done. They look for a better job, you see? And if you keep doing what you've always done in the past, obviously you will get the same results. You see, most people are in the rat race, or I call it the hamster wheel trap. You were born to do more than just to go to work, to pay bills and to die. Get out of that rat race. I wanna show you how you can get out of your situation, how you can break out of that hamster wheel trap, and that's how I call it. And because if you keep spinning your wheels and you go from paycheck to paycheck, then um, obviously uh, life is not good. And I wanna give you a solution how to fix your problems. Most people have an idea about life, and this life is typically something like this. They say, okay, I go to school, I get a degree, I get married, I buy a house, I have kids, then I get a job, and after a life of financial struggle, they retire with almost nothing. And most people are spinning their wheels like a hamster in a wheel, and they're not getting ahead financially because they have to pay bills, they have to pay mortgage payments, credit cards, and because of that, they're always in the same situation. And combined with poor spending habits, with credit and this, and the belief that false advertising of buying things on credit, uh, and they dig themselves deeper and deeper into a financial hole of debt. And most people have been working hard in their job or careers, but they're still not getting ahead in life. So, a lot of people live pay to, paycheck to paycheck. They cannot stop working because if they stop working, their income will stop and then their whole life will go down the drain. And they have created their own financial prison and they cannot get out. And just like a hamster in a hamster wheel trap, you're moving faster and faster, but you're still at the same place. And you can try faster, but you're not moving ahead. Now, um, what's the solution? Unfortunately, we live in a world where money matters and most people probably won't leave the civilized world and build a house in the woods and eat worms to survive and so forth. So whether you like it or not, you have to deal with money. And it doesn't occur to most people that there are other options because everybody does, you know, they have a job and everybody does the same. And obviously because some people feel in, like they have self-doubt and they have feelings of inferiority, they think they're not good enough and they think that they will never really amount to something. Well, let me tell you this. We all want a better life and we all have goals and dreams. Now, how can you achieve those goals and dreams? And the answer is with money, most cases, right? So, because the question is, how can you make more money? And you have two options really. Number one, you have to work in your career. So work or career. Number two is investing, you see? When people turn 65 years old, only 5% are financially independent. 80% are dependent on the state. 15% have a little bit of money. Now, you see, uh, we all create our own reality. And the key to change is to start to think differently, is to change your reality, start thinking in a different way. So unfortunately, just saving a little bit of money here or there is not the solution either. You need to have a different strategy if you want to have great financial success and get ahead in life. Now, why is money so important? Well, obviously, um, it is everywhere in our life and it affects you in every matter, in your self-confidence, in the way you live, in your stress level and so forth. And obviously, you need to, con you need to concern yourself with the topic of money. But let's talk about positioning. You see, you need to be in the right position in order to become rich. And what do I mean by that? You see, people work uh, nine to five in a job, and obviously the only way for them to make more money is to do overtime or to get a second job or to get a better job. But obviously, if you're standing in the middle of the Sahara and you dream of trying to see the ocean, you're not in the right position to do it. And it's the same thing when you're trying to become a millionaire. As an employee, it's not going to work. So what can you do? Well, I've put together a series of programs that teach you exactly how I went from zero to millionaire. And all my experience, all my personal experience, my business experience, and everything I've put into this super package. 
And because I've started many businesses and I took many uh, companies public in the stock market, I dealt with millions of dollars and I was very, very successful. I've put together this program, the super package. And you don't have to waste 10 years of your life to figure out what works and what doesn't work. You can learn how to be successful from people who've done it before you. You see, money lies in the streets, okay? There's lots of opportunities for us, but you need to know how to do it. You need to start your own business. And the way you do it, and because there's no quick or simple answer that I can give you. And by the way, I don't have all the answers. I only have my answers. But the strategies and the ideas and insights that I've described in my program will help you and encourage you and give you the tools and the skills that you can develop to become a self-made millionaire. And that's why I've created the super package and it's here for you. And I'm offering you this knowledge and I hope you'll take advantage of it. Thank you very much.